What's up guys, GG Racing here and today I'm going to show you one simple yet powerful thing that you can do to analyze your lap times inside iRacing to find where you're lacking, to find your mistakes and how to correct them. You don't need telemetry, you, know, you don't need any third party tools for this, it's just you the sim and some analysis that we're gonna go over together. This is exactly what I do when I'm pot lapping and I'm doing my track guides. So you're gonna see here my thought process, how I see my laps and how do I decide if that lap can be improved or not and if it's possible for me to do it. Because of course many of the laps can be improved, we are not aliens here or at least uh, I'm guessing that aliens don't watch tutorials on YouTube. But nevertheless, let's go and let me show you what I'm doing in order to get this knowledge. So the first thing I do, let's say that I just did a fast lap. This is my fastest lap, let's say, lap 9. I go to replay mode, I change the camera, I use the far chase camera in order to have a better perspective of what I'm doing and I also have the telemetry here, as you can see. Now the next thing is to enable the driving line assist. I never use this except this time when I'm analyzing my laps because it's another reference that I can use while seeing the replay. And now if we go to turn one, the first thing that I'm looking at is am I using all the available track? The more track that I use, the, the better the approach to the corner would be. So in this case everything is okay. I'm at the limit but the turning point and breaking point is a bit messed up. As you can see here we're missing the apex and we're covering a longer line. The distance that we cover here it's bigger than this one. Not by much but it adds up. So here it might be something like one tenth but I know that I can improve it. It's not uh, a huge deal to do. It's just uh, fixing the turning and braking point. So that's regarding the turn one. So right from the start, I know that this lap can be improved easily without, uh, without any uh, big things for me to do. For turn two, we see it's exactly the same. The apex is good. Apex in here is not bad but the line is a bit messed up uh, it depends however of the throttle application because if i'm at full throttle earlier i can cover this distance in the same time uh, in comparison with if i'm using this line but i'm on the throttle later however i see here that at this point we're starting to be on throttle which is pretty late so this lap can be improved on turn two as well without any major things to do from my side just a bit more um, attention turn three you will see how the racing line assist is messed up here it says to lift uh, this is a flat out corner but what i'm looking here is Am I using the shortest path? Shortest path is to, is to the white line and yes, I'm doing this. I also use a bit of the grass, it's not an off track. So everything is fine with this corner, uh, everything is fine. For the next one we break pretty deep and it's important here to be early on throttle. But here as you can see the exit, it's a bit bit wider. So we cover here a bit more distance. Keep this in mind because I will show you then a faster lap than this where um, you will see that after I analyze these mistakes I will try to correct them so keep this corner in mind as well now it's a big big straight we're just gonna go to the breaking point again and here just looking at the line and BAM we have a mistake again we're too far on the right side too far on the right side now we want to go on the left side to open up the corner but our exit from this corner is pretty bad see ideally we would have been here but 
uh, this is what happened and also on this corner I could have used a bit more of the track all right so what you saw until this point are some racing line analysis that I do for my laps before deciding if I can improve it further the one last thing that I do from iRacing before moving to some actual telemetry data is to optimize the straight line speed and carry the maximum amount of speed to the straights. So straights are very important. Um, most of the time is gained on a straight line and that time is gained actually in the last corner before the straight. So what I'm trying to do now is to press the throttle as early as possible. I want to be on, on the throttle pedal as early as I can without missing the apex of course and see what is the moment when we press the throttle and what is the position of the car. So for this lap for example if we go slowly here we're looking for throttle so now we're at 50 percent 70 75 80 100 okay so this is the moment in this lap where we are on full throttle and we have a spin of 120 kph ideally what we want to achieve uh, is to be on the same throttle position but a bit earlier so if we can manage to have the throttle pressed a hundred percent but let's say here that will mean that we will carry this speed throughout the whole straight so as you can see the straight is pretty big so until here that speed is carried so we want to optimize that because we're earlier on throttle we will gain much time on this big straight so this is the thing that I'm trying to do after optimizing the racing line is to optimize the straight lines and the speed that we can carry on those straights. That was it for today. Uh, I hope you will have a great race week ahead. And if you are interested in seeing track guides for the IR04, uh, I will cover this season, uh, the whole season of it. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to stick around. Goodbye and see you on the next one.